Hi guys, how are you today? So on the Unreal Engine forum, I found this question, this guy asking about the sprite alignment. He wants to make this kind of alignment with the sprite and nobody answered. So let's answer him. So basically, if you see, these are three planar. One is this vertical, then two making cross. So they can be two ways. Uh, if you want a single shape like this in an emitter, and if you want this in a per particle, so let's do it. So first I'll take the Niagara, I'll take the fountain, effects, alignment and I'll open this and I don't know what wrong with my fountain but I'll just take it again okay now it's visible so first thing is if you want to do this like if you want to use a three particle that align your sprite like this in single emitter so basically if you have like if I delete all these modules and also this just take a burst make burns and infinite so you have just single particle and this is round so I just want to remove the material and uh, so it will be card and also this is not two-sided card so let's make a basic material so I'll just call it M hello and I'll just take the particle color and connect this here and here and that's it save it and sorry make it two-sided and save it so i'll just select that material and i'll use it here okay and you can just make the color maybe just red so it will be much more visible like this and let's also turn this off and make the size maybe 40 so it will be bigger let me make this screen little more big so yeah so this is camera facing i i can move my like camera but it's still this is facing my camera so i cannot see other side of this so to fix that you need to go to sprite renderer and here we have alignment and facing you can use custom alignment you can also use custom facing vector and after that they, you can do two things first you can take here align sprite to the mesh orientation after taking this you have this sprite it will behave like a planar so you can like rotate your camera around so it is aligned already and i will just turn off the rotation of sprite so it will be straight okay so if you want to do this method so let's create it so first you have a flat planar so this is facing planar so i'll make it flat so by changing the axis instead of x i'll use z so now it's flat planar like this one and now we have to make two crosses so if you want to make crosses see i can rotate it from this and this so we want to make the cross for, with this so i can rotate this like and like this so we will have cross right and also you can take initial mesh orientation because now your sprite is behaving like a mesh and instead of none the uh, random rotation here you can rotate it from here also okay so you can use either here or either here but this is just a single particle so first we need to take three particles so now we have three particles overlapping each other and I want one particle to be like same and two particles make cross and every particle has a ID as you know 0, 1, 2, 3. So what I'll do, let's say I want to rotate this like this so 0.2 and then minus 0.2. It will be like that. So first I'll break this and then here if I just use random, it will make random but not perfect every time because it will give the random position uh, rotation every time if you want it to fix what you can do instead of random i'll just use array and in the array we have three particles we know so zero one and two but total three particle 
with the zero with the first particle i don't want to do anything with the second particle i want 0.2 rotation with the third i want minus 0.2 but how do he it it knows that which particle is this so the error sampling mode is random i will use it direct and then connect it with the execution index which is id of particle see now you can decide what how much you want so first method is this so now we have exact same thing and this is just a three particles okay so if you add velocity in it let's say point velocity so see each planar will move separately this shape is not following the velocity so the second method in this case if you want to follow the velocity with this shape you can also do that so let's single shape and let's make let's take a fountain again again so we have this fountain i'll just hide this and i want on each particle i want this shape this red shape on each particle so this will be the second method so how you do that first i'll use the let me save also i'll use the same material here right and then i'll use the same color like 0.1 okay and make it zero then let's uh, use point velocity actually so they will go from the center and i don't want gravity and let's also use less velocity okay so you have this so first i'll use custom alignment same way custom facing vector okay and then you can take the same thing but i'll show you the next uh, uh, other thing so you can take the sprite you can just type here facing and you will have this facing and alignment node this works same kind of thing so you can see now they are all facing the same direction and you can make this z they are all facing z now what you can do you have this amount of particles spawning per second so what you can do you have this sprite render you can duplicate this three times but it will take the same spawn rate so on a single particle it will give you three sprites so let's rename this first so this will be my sprite one and then i'll copy this and paste and then paste and i'll rename this as two that means sprite two as three that means sprite three you can rename anything that makes easy to understand so this s1 is this flat planar and s2 and s3 make will make cross okay like this so it has three planars so how do you do that so if you'll see i have aligned on z and this x value is rotating on this axis and this axis and also turn off the rotation and make the size same maybe 10 and turn off this okay so we know that this x value is rotating them so i can use that to make cross so what i can do so you'll see the these sprite renders have some binding so this is bind with the alignment and facing and these all three binding with the same alignment and facing i want to use a different facing vector for it so what i'll do i'll go here Oops, sorry i'll go here and take this and then i'll take a vector and i'll take one more vector and this will be my s2 facing and this will be my s3 facing okay and what i want now I want to use this same sprite facing then add something on x so what you can do or you can just directly use if you want so let's add on facing and I want to add on x and I'll just copy this and paste it here and make this negative x now we need to bind these with this so I'll go to s2 in the facing i'll use s2 facing and in the three 
I'll go binding and in the facing I'll go use three. So now you see we have these cross and it's also have velocity and each particle has that cross. So basically now if you'll see uh, let me just random the color I want to show you something. So let's use minus one and one. So each sprite has different color and that means change the size. So they have all cross, but cross facing same side. They are not randomly like facing. So to do that, what you can do if you go here, okay, and if I change this like one and one, the, they all are like this. Diagonal. If I make this minus one and minus one, is that diagonal on this axis? So you can change this y and this z. So how I'll do that if I want the same setting on both? So here I'll make another parameter. Let's make it. Uh, let's make an integer, or you can make a float, and then make an integer. and randomize that integer from 1 to minus 1 and i'll just rename this random axis or anything you want so we have a parameter that has minus 1 and 1 and we want we want to use it here in the alignment so i want here on the z and on the y so for the z we need to break and keep in mind the y is 1 so i'll just break and make the y 1 and connect this with the random axis and here we need, we need to make the z1 so i'll just break make the z1 and connect this to random axis now we have these randomly rotated cross and also velocity is working cool so now you can make this shape in animated particles and on a static particle. I hope this is clear and I hope this will be helpful for all you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye-bye.